Blake Prince, the Conway Fire Department. We're here today to talk to these students about the importance of a sprinkler system in the house and how efficient it is about allowing you more time uh, to get out if you do have a house fire. Jeremy Ratham with VSC Fire and Security. Yes, he's exactly right. We're also going to show you, you know, the difference between here and there, the heads going off, not going off, not having it, and we're all about life safety. Not, not about saving anything other than your life. I am Blake Brinson with the Conway Fire Department. Today we're going to show you the importance of sprinkler systems in a residence versus non-sprinkled rooms, okay? Yes, so first thing first, obviously we need smoke detectors in a room first, right? Smoke detectors in our bedroom are important because it alerts us quick, all right? It gets us that opportunity and allows us that, that quick response to get out of the house, all right? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to light off the non-sprinkled side. It's going to be on the left side over here. Um, you'll see the pizza box there. Um, there's not any pizza in there. Um, but with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the, the steps and the processes of the actual burning itself. Um, and with, sorry, with that being said, these couches and everything are made out of a um, more of a gasoline type product. Um, with that being said, they're going to burn quicker. They're hotter than back when you had furniture in the 70s, 80s. Um, now it's going to burn a lot faster and hotter. So you're going to see the about three minute mark. You're going to see a flashover. That's when it's going to consume everything in the room that could burn. So with that being said, I'm going to have them light off this left side. We're going to kind of talk about it. All right. I'm going to get a timer going here and I'll kind of talk to you all through this and see what the time is for the smoke detector. And then when you see the actual flame, you'll see it start seeing smoke first. So the smoke detector has already gone off, all right? So it's already sensed that smoke already. So you can start seeing it now, you see the flame? It's gonna be on the right side there. So it's gonna start going up the curtains. All that heat is going where? It's going up, right? It's gonna get up there and it's gonna start banking down. It's going fast. All right, we're at 200 degrees at the ceiling. And it's already, and I can already feel the heat here. If y'all can, I'm not sure if y'all can or not. But you can feel that heat already. It's going to continue to burn because it has nothing to put that out. All right. So on average response time at the Conway Fire Department is about three minutes to three and a half minutes. That's from the time of the call. So you've already had to make your way out and uh, call 911. All right. So it's going to continue to burn. All that heat's going up, right? And we're going to make our way around the curtain are gonna halfway burn right now. We've got the couch, backside of the couch on fire. Once again, you've probably made it outside about now. We're gonna get out, we're gonna stay out, right? We're gonna shut our door on the way out. What does that do? That creates a barrier from burning the rest of the house up and it keeps that smoke and everything contained, allowing less oxygen in there. about a minute 10 in so it's gonna it takes a little bit to get going um, I like to say that more oxygen the windier it is it's gonna be faster what do we what do we see the ceiling there all right so we're looking about 250 degrees um, at that point the smoke and everything the couch you see it start smoking there what it's doing is it's getting to the point where it's about to light off. So uh, y'all get ready there, Corbin, just a second. So now it's, it's gonna get to a point where everything in the room is what they call a flashover. Everything in there that can burn is gonna burn because it gets so hot and that radiant heat's hitting it, it's gonna start burning off where it like spot fire looks like. There goes the sheet rock. All right, so all that smoke right there is it's, it's getting it's off gas and that's actually unburned material there so the drone will be all right uh, all right so we're about halfway burned through the couch now 1200 degrees there obviously you're not going to survive through that Yeah, so it's 
going to burn through that just heat a little bit. Alright, so we're two minutes and about 45 seconds there. Our department still hadn't showed up. We're almost there. Alright, can y'all feel that heat now a little bit? Yeah. All right, we're at the point now, flash of the cap uh, the chair I just saw, it just flashed there. All right, guys, y'all wanna go ahead. Corbin, go ahead, guys. All right, so now the fire department showed up, now we get to go put that out. So here in a little bit, while they're putting that out, we're gonna talk. You'll get to see, we're gonna show, uh, light this other side on fire in a second, the same thing, um, it simulates a candle. All of a sudden, you won't lay up and left the candle next to the curtain too close. Um, they're going to put this out, and we'll let y'all walk up after it cools off and see the, the damage from this without a sprinkler system versus with the sprinkler system. They, they're breathing their air right now because um, that is bad smoke there um, because of the fact of it, you know, the material. Um, that being said, here in a second, we're going to talk about the sprinkler system. It's 155 degree ahead. Uh, so at 150 degrees, 155 degrees to the ceiling, it'll pop that uh, little glass piece there, temperature there, and uh, it'll have city pressure. That's what that hose, that white hose on the left over here, my left, uh, will be right over here. That, that's what's going to be tied to it. That's just going to be the city pressure from the hydrant, no boosting from the fire truck. Guys, we still got the sprinkler system a second. Everybody's gone. We still got to burn another side. Okay. Alright, so we're going to burn this side over here in a second. Do the same thing. Um, it's going to be a little less impressive, but you're going to save a lot more of your property. Your picture frames, your um, Xbox shirt, it's going to get wet, but PlayStation, okay. Um, So you'll see these the sprinklers in like apartment newer apartment complexes, some houses that have one way in, one way out, uh, or like a driveway that is, that uh, will have the sprinkler system required by uh, code to have that. this other side and we'll go. All right, to the right now, we're going to have the sprinkler system tied into it. So you're going to see maybe a little bit of a flame, but it's going to hit that heat pretty quick to the ceiling and it'll pop before you even really know it. You're good, go ahead. Starting to see the smoke there on the next to that pillow. So what heat rises, right? So that's why the sprinkler cans are up here on the sidewall, um, as high as you can get it. And then uh, that way the heat's gonna get that temperature a little thing in there. Not yet. So water's not there yet. There, all right. So there's the flame. Um, you're gonna start seeing that build up. As soon as it hits that 155 degrees, it's gonna, it's gonna put it. It may not put it out exactly. The point of a sprinkler system is what not to put the fire out necessarily. It'll buy you more time to get out, right? So the goal of it is to save you time and get, get out. So there goes the sprinkler head, and you see the fire. You see the fire anymore? Uh, no. So I don't. I don't think you do. Um, all right. So at 34 seconds, um, the sprinkler head went off. Okay. So. That's pretty quick. Yeah, you're going to have water damage, right? You're going to have uh, But it's, look at the difference between that room on the left and then the right one. to shut it off and see it made the difference. It'll, it'll go. 
go until we shut it off. So it's gonna, it's, it's, it's one hand, once it gets to that temperature, it's not the whole building, it's just one. Like the movies will show the whole system. Yeah, there are those systems out there. That's just one head going on. Yeah, whatever hits the heat. Yep, exactly. You good with shutting it off? Yep. All right. We're going to shut it off now. Um, it's a lot of enough time to get fire out. Yeah, so once it cools off, you want to go look at it. Lake Branch of the Conway Fire Department again, just doing a recap of the uh, burn. We're just kind of showing you here the aftermath. Um, this is going to be the unprotected side with the sprinkler system. It burned up a majority of the couch here and uh, burned up a lot of the product that would, would burn in there. Um, this is going to be the protected side with the sprinkler system. Uh, they did pull everything out to make sure everything was uh, it was out. And so with that being said, you can see they, they lit it in the back right there next to those boxes and the boxes are still there. It did burn up the curtain some, and that's where the heat made it to the sprinkler and then the sprinkler activated and put the fire out. So it shows a big world difference of having a sprinkler system versus not.